Hello everyone. Welcome to Easy Max Online. Today our topic is about capacity, word problems. Today we will learn in capacity how to solve the word problems. In the last before class, we have learned how to measure the capacity. If you haven't watched that, please watch that one. I will send the link in the description box. So let's start. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Let's start. Look at this question. If it is given a can of cola, that means one can of cola holds 100 milliliters. This cola, this diagram is not given. If they said a can, one can of cola holds 100 milliliter, how much will four can can hold? So if one can can hold 100 milliliter, one, two, three, four. So 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100. Instead of adding all the repeating of same number addition, you can do the multiplication for this. That will be more easier. One can can hold 100 milliliter. So four can can hold. 4 into 100 is equal to 400 milliliter. So 4 can will hold 400 milliliters. If it is 5 can, 500 milliliter. If it is given 100 milliliter for 1 can, this is the A part. Now look at the B part. The same question is related with this. Now if they say, how many more cans would I need to make a liter? It is related with A. We already have four cans. How many more cans would I need to make a liter, one liter? To find the number of cans, we divide one liter. It means 1,000 milliliter. One liter is equal to 1,000 milliliter by the amount of cola. How many cola, how many one cola has? 100 milliliter in one can. So if I divide 1000, if I divide with 100, 20 and 20, if I cut only 10 cans I need. But already we have four cans in the before one. See four cans we already have. So we already have four cans. How many we need more? 10? minus 4 gives 6 more cans I need. So I need 6 more cans to make 1 liter. I will repeat one more time. I already have 4 cans because they said we 1 can can hold 100 milliliters. How much 4 can hold? That means you are having 4 cans. It is 400 milliliter. They said how many more cans you need to make a liter? One liter means 1,000 milliliter. So one can, 100. So how many cans we need for 1,000? How many cans? 10 cans. We already have four. So 10 minus four equals six. So I need six more can to have a liter, one liter. That means 1,000 milliliter. Let's do one more. Look at this question. This is the A part. A jar has 358 milliliter of jam. A jar, that means a bottle or a jar, you can say, it has 358 milliliter of jam. My grandma uses 198, 198 milliliter to make some jar, jam top. How much is left? Look at this word left. Whenever this word comes left in your word problem, you always subtract. Left means how much remaining they are asking. How much remain? How much is remaining with you? So a jar has 358 milliliter. How much my grandma used? 198. So if I minus. 358 with 198, 8 minus 8 is 0. I cannot minus 5 minus 9, so I borrow from here. So it will be 15 
and this will be 2. So 15 minus 9 becomes 6 and 2 minus 1 is 1. That means 160 milliliter of jam is left with us. Now the same question is related here. If my mom needs, my mom again, my mom, next day maybe, my mom is making something, cake or something. She needs 645 of jam to make a cake. How much more jam will we need? We already have 160 milliliter of jam with us. Now we need total 645. We already have 160. So how much is more we need? So my mom need 645 milliliter. How much jam we have after my grandma uses? 160. So how much more we need? This is also the word. How much more? Whenever this word also comes, you have to subtract. 5 minus 0 is 5. We cannot minus 40, 4 minus 6. So we, I borrow from here. So this is 14 and this will be 5. So 14 minus 6 will be 8. So and 5 minus 1 is 4. So 465 milliliter of jam we need more. So if you want to check your answer, you add this 160 plus 445. You get 645. That much more you need. So I hope you understand. Bye. Thank you.